Welcome to Black Nation TV Extended Play. I'm Rosie Parade, and over here is DJ Duop. Wagwan, I'm DJ Duop. I do the Hot 99 dubstep every Wednesday, 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. and repeat 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. All about the bass. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> so let's start way back to the beginning before yeah. DJ Duop. Little kids, <laughs> little kids away. Little kids away. Oh, you even know the real, real name. There we go. So, what? Yeah. Uh, yeah. How did you ask? Um, I was born in Swaziland, and um, I I didn't live there at all. Like I was literally born, then taken. <laughs> I lived in Sun City for a while because my parents um, were managers of the casino there. Okay. And then I went to a French school, uh, so I speak fluent French. Ben, j'aime pas vraiment parler en français, mais des fois je fais ça pour être sexy, c'est tout. And then um, I was a springboard diver. I don't okay. know if you know. No. But I did springboard diving for South Africa, and then. Into a swimming pool. Yeah. Okay. So I was pretty dope, and then. <laughs> Even as a child. I was pretty dope as a child, so like. By the age of 15, um, I got scouted and I went to Canada to dive there at a sports school for a bit. And then obviously in Canada, they speak French as well in Montreal. So that was dope. It all worked out. You know how the universe comes with these random plans. And then um, I started music. Oh, yeah, no. Then after Canada, I went to London. And then in London, I derailed, started clubbing all the time. <laughs> fell in love with music and bass and then stopped diving and started DJing and studied sound engineering. That's about it. Okay. <laughs> cool. Well, that's, yeah, that's, that's a crazy story. That's story, a crazy story. Actually. But yeah, it brings us nice into my next question, which was mm -hmm. creditors often you seem to credit um, your time spent in London and you mention of Montreal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah definitely. So what is it about, you know now how you got there, what is it about that? The See, vibe. The the vibe. What happened there hasn't happened yet. Well, London is just a bunch of craziness. I mean, constant parties, 24/7. You'll never be bored. You know what I mean? And it's just every day of the week. There's a there's a vibe, and it's underground stuff. I mean, I don't know. Just London's on another level, and it just it threw me into this other world that I'd never seen. I was this little girl in a big bad world, and. I fell in love with crazy dark music and that's how I started with electronic, I guess. <laughs> mm. 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 And so why is that? Is there something about London that you could pinpoint that's not like Dover? That you think makes it kind of shift? That's not like Dover. Yeah. yeah. I know what's <laughs> not like Dover. Yeah. People don't like it's fine to be out of the box they won't criticize you they won't look at you it's so rare that you actually stand out in london like no one really notices you because everyone is doing their own vibe whereas here if you do anything a little different like have yellow hair people like just act like it's the craziest thing where it's not actually just being your own person i think that's what makes london so awesome and epic and original it's because everyone's just doing their own vibe Sounds good. Sounds like the you're living. <laughs> so, uh, you were overseas, you fell in love with music, and yeah. then you came back home. Then I came back home because, like I said, I do well. Yeah. <laughs> so, my parents were like, mm -mm, you can't be spending all our money and not actually doing anything. So, they were like, come back to Joburg. So, I came back and I decided to carry on studying sound engineering because I didn't finish it in London. And I just graduated this year. Woo, it's my <laughs> graduation tonight, actually. Congratulations, um, that. No, I don't. I was thinking of being a proper rebel. Because they were like, yeah, Yo, you need to you need to wear black and white. So I'm thinking what to do. Maybe just like a see-through white dress. <laughs> you like titties! Just like white. <laughs> but um, yeah, so moved back started studying sound engineering and then on the side I went to DJ just make a little bit of money so I went to DJ for life he dope guy his name is Ian Credible he taught me how to DJ really from scratch yeah 
He's so epic. Do you know what? I'm so, no, very many. He's incredible. <laughs> yeah, incredible. What did you, what gear did you start on? Um, straight CDJ 2000. He has like top notch equipment. So, and are you happy to stick with CDJs? Do you see something? Well, I, I uh, straight up, my dad, like probably two weeks into DJing, he bought me a controller. So I just started using that. And controllers are just so comfortable. Mm -hmm. So, I started to control it. Which sucks. I should actually be a badass chick with a CDJ. Yeah. You know, I'll get back to the business. Definitely. 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 I got asked the other day, on Saturday, um, I brought my controller. I'm like, it's perfectly fine, CDJ 2000 is here. Why are you bringing out your controller? I was like, my nigga, can you chill out? I'm just trying to live my life. So, I think I do need to go to the CDJ. Um, okay, so you were DJing her thoughts. You were DJing in Ruxies and someone from my band approached you? Mm, yeah, that was so crazy. It was only my second gig and I was playing my gut, to be honest. <laughs> like, mixing skills on zero. And then I got a call the next day and they're like, listen, YFM is thinking of um, moving into dubstep. We hear that you know a lot about it. Do you mind coming in and just talking about yourself and maybe bring us a little mix or something? Cool. And then I did that and they dig my vibe. I did like a few more interviews after that and then it worked out. Music. How did my hair look? I think it was green. It was green braids. They were like very confused but I think they liked it. <laughs> How long ago was that? Mm, it was last year, April. Okay. A year, yeah, yeah, like a year ago. And so now, oh, yeah. you're on. Craziness. So much is happening here. <laughs> Black Nation stays following me. Uh, dude, you guys shame. You guys were with me from the beginning. So shout out to you guys for actually putting me out there. But um, it's been insane. Now, next month, I'm going to Germany for a month. I'm touring there. We've got, I've got like four gigs a week with Lex the Boy. Plus, like a tip, like a female hip hop. Mm. Purple Velvet? It's called the Purple Velvet Tour. It's a hip hop tour that's um, going to be. There's one female artist from the US, one from Germany, one from, and then us. I think there's just four of us, or five of us. Anyway, just females only. <laughs> it's going to be so amazing to do. Like, I like the vibe of them, especially just this only female thing. The managers is really good, German, straight. Yo, she's this dope straight female. Like, she's so on point. She organized this months ago. Um, tech riders were sent in long ago. She paid for everything. So, how did you put that? Lex got it. Yeah. Lex the boy.